do not move in Atlanta. At least not until you hear these seven things about moving there. Number one, the best times to move in Atlanta. The least busy and cheapest months to move are in March and November, and the best days are Sundays. This is when moving companies have the most availability. You can avoid any surcharges or other complications if you book at least 12 days in advance. Atlanta is home to plenty of festivals and special events, especially in Midtown, so check beforehand to see if there will be any closed roads or higher traffic. Speaking of which, number two, the traffic situation in Atlanta. If you're driving, avoid the roads from 8 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 7 p.m. Local movers really recommend early mornings. Atlanta doesn't have toll roads, but it does have some optional toll lanes, which give you access to clearer lanes on the highway. The toll lane prices depend on how high the demand is. It can be as cheap as 10 cents per mile, but likely higher, sometimes much higher. The prices are displayed in real time on road signs so you can decide if it's worth it. Super important. These lanes do not accept cash, so have your card handy. And if you're going to be using these roads a lot, look into getting a local peach pass. Yes, that's really what it's called. More info on that below. Number three, let's talk about Atlanta's weather. The city is in a pretty warm climate, so you're not likely to run into any challenges like snow. You will get some rainy days, but generally the biggest weather factor is the heat. So stay hydrated while you're working on your move. Number four, parking in Atlanta. A lot of big cities have super strict requirements for reserving street space for a moving truck or container, but not Atlanta. Some situations may call for it though. So double check by calling the Department of Public Works. Pro tip, check out movingpermits.com if you think you need a street cleared for your move. Make sure to find out what the parking situation is for your new place. Is there a garage, a dedicated space, just local street parking? For that last one, you'll likely need to get a residential parking sticker to avoid tickets. Link for that below. Number five, Atlanta's local transportation. If you don't have a car or don't want to use one, Atlanta has a public transit network called MARTA, which includes buses, trains, and streetcars. And of course, you can always use rideshare. Number six, arriving and departing from Atlanta's airport. If you're flying, you'll be visiting Hartfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, or ALT, which is located less than 10 miles south of the city. You can travel between those two points using the MARTA Gold train line. Number seven, finding the best movers in Atlanta. No matter what, moving in Atlanta is easier when you hire quality local movers to help. They're surprisingly affordable on hireahelper.com. If you wanna know who the top rated movers are in Atlanta, check out our other video and follow for more moving advice.